Here we're going to repair a broken arc ASIC mining tester. This ASIC repair center unit has no power and won't turn on. To diagnose this issue, we need to disassemble the tester as we did in our last arc repair. Link in description. We remove the selector control knob by pulling on it. Then we can remove the faceplate by unplugging the pins of the left serial connector. We do a quick visual inspection to look for any signs of damage to the components. We then clean the board using isopropyl alcohol. With our multimeter set to DC voltage, we're going to read the value of each component in the circuit. Starting with U1 all the way to the I.O. port of the hash board. To do so, we touch our negative probe to the metal casing of the selector knob or the processor casing to act as ground. And follow circuit one component at the time with the positive probe. In this specific case, we're not getting the 5.13 volts at the very beginning of the circuit. This indicates that the F1 fuse might be damaged. To investigate further, we set our multimeter to continuity mode and measure both sides of the F1 fuse. There's no continuity. We'll need to replace that component. If you don't have a spare fuse, you can bypass it to complete the circuit and continue testing. Proceed at your own risk, as shorting the F1 fuse safety feature means the entire circuit is at risk of overloads. We're going to apply some flux to pre-tin the jumper wire. Using a soldering iron, we melt some soldering paste onto the wire. This melts the insulation that covers the wire and makes it suitable for soldering. We then solder the wire across both pads of the F1 connector and cut the excess with a hobby knife. Afterwards, we can check for continuity and plug the USB-C cable to see if the unit now has power. We can look under the unit. The blue LED indicates the tester is on. You can also use a 6-pin jumper cable to connect the faceplate to the board. We should read 5.13 volts from the F1 fuse to the F2 fuse. We should also read 3.3 volts from the F2 fuse all the way up to the third pin of the I.O. port on the hash board. It's important to note that if the hash board is not plugged in, the arc does not send the 3.3 volts past the F2 fuse since it's still scanning for the type of board it's testing. Consider subscribing for more ASIC repairs tutorials.